Hello YouTube and welcome to our fourth video on Visual Inheritance. My name is Herman and I'm a developer at Sphere 10 Software. In this video we will show how we can achieve Visual Inheritance for the status strip control. So we will begin by creating our base form. In our base form we will add a status strip control. And what we will do is that we'll create um, a two items on it. The first item will be a label called 1 1, and in the second item, we'll make it a progress bar. We'll put it at 90%. What we'll want to do is create a, a sub form that inherits from the base form, but that removes this 1 1 label and inserts in its place a label with the correct text 1 and then we will also want to append a label after the progress bar called 3 and uh, this will give us uh, this will prove that we how we have extended the base form uh, status strip okay so we have to set our modifier for our status strip to protect it and we save that we now let's run that to see our Base form in action. Okay, so as we see, we've got a, a, a form with one line, the progress bar, and uh, it's not very impressive, but it's um, that's what we're up to now. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll create a sub form that'll be actually an inherited Windows form, and this sub form will inherit from the base form. And as we can see here, it's uh, the status strip is locked down, which is quote a feature by Microsoft. What we want to do is uh, work around that uh, quote feature and be able to extend the or change that status strip. And the way we can do it is we drag a mergeable status strip and uh, we it always seems to in a dock before the base one so what we just right click and bring it to the front and then it allows the base one to the base one to dock first. So what we'll do is we'll create a, a label here called 1-1 one, one, and we want it to remove the merge action set to remove so that when this merges with, with the base status strip it'll remove the equivalent. We also want to have a, a status strip label 1 and we want to insert that at index 0 which means that this will be inserted at the beginning of the um, set of items. Now we'll also create another label and we'll call that 3 and this one will be set to append and we can depend that at the end of the list. Okay now we set the inherited tool strip, we set it to what it is, the parent one, we save it and we have here our form. Now our design time support kicks in for our control when we click away it goes to invisible and when it goes to invisible it merges itself with the parent as we can see it's merged it. This is helpful for us in design time to um, to see how uh, if we've set our settings correctly in our sub tool strips it won't actually affect the designer serialization of the base form it's only there for our visual purposes. So let us now launch that sub form and see if it worked, which in all probability it will. Here we go, and we have it here. The status strip is now cor corrected by the, the sub um, form. Okay, well that shows us now for the menu strip, tool strip, and status strip how to achieve visual inheritance and. Uh, Please read the article that's linked to in the description of this video for any more information. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact uh, me, and we'll be able to I'll be able to answer them hopefully. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.